Hello, welcome so much to my YouTube channel. My name is Amina Ramadhani Hi Guy, and people here call me Mrs. Finance. Today I'm recording the last step in our very, very fantastic series that we started some few weeks ago on the topic of how to start your financial fit life in 2023. We've already touched on other four steps. I would love to ask you to go and watch them in case you're joining us for the first time today and you've not watched those other steps. If you watch the other steps, then this step will make a lot of sense and you will be able to conclude the series having understood all what was meant to be understood in this series. And step number five is about recognizing and using your competitive advantage. A financial fit life is a collection of many habits and many practices and procedures that are going to contribute to your final goal of achieving a financial fit life. So after having calculated your net worth and knowing the habits that are really draining your efforts in making a progress in this journey and also establishing your why and setting smart goals then now you have to come and analyze recognize and then use your competitive advantage what is your competitive advantage or what do i mean when i say your competitive advantage i want to believe that we are all unique based on how we were created and also unique based on how we were raised and unique based on how God blessed us with different talents and abilities that are just unique to us. So all I'm asking you to do in this step is to recognize your abilities, to recognize your skills that are so exceptional and that you can use to increase your financial success uh, that they are going to push you towards achieving your financial success. Let's say you are a full-time employee. You are employed somewhere, okay? Whether in the private sector or in the public sector. So you have a nine-to-five job, they say, and you are very much involved in your job. But you know deep down, I am employed as an accountant, but I'm so good maybe with baking cakes, okay? Or I'm employed as a manager, but I'm so good with being an MC. I have very good uh, speech, I can talk very well, my words are in order, I can pronounce well, I can entertain people. So you know, I'm a manager, but deep down, me I know I can talk, me I know I can MC an event. Or someone, they're so good in their job, but they know they, 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 they love football and they, they can train kids or maybe they can be a trainer somewhere in a gym or train football or train kids on how to swim. Those are your competitive advantages. So you're supposed to know them, you're supposed to recognize them and then use them to speed up your journey to financial freedom. How will you speed up? Imagine you are a, a full-time employee. But again, on the weekends, you MC events. Or maybe on the weekend, you, 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 you bake cakes, maybe. Or on the weekend, you have swimming classes for kids that you run. You're going to be paid your full-time salary, and then you're going to be paid a supplementary, something like a salary, a supplementary income that you're going to have. At the end of the day, you will not have a one source income, you'll have two sources income. So when you have these two sources of income, it's going to be very easy for you now to go into financial planning with full force because you're going to have some money to put for your emergency fund. You're going to have some money to put in the sinking fund. And if you have debts, you're going to have some more sources of money to clear your debts. 
Or maybe you don't have dates, but you're going to have money to put towards maybe a retirement plan. Or maybe you want to buy a bond. You're going to have some money after three months of accumulating. You're going to have at least some money to buy a, a five million government bond. I hope you are now understanding what I mean. Eh? My point is, let's try to use our talents. Let's try to use our gifts. Or maybe let's try to even use our skills. Sometimes you may be a full-time employed person, but you are very good maybe in accounting subjects. You might decide to start teaching people, maybe who are doing their CPA, the Certified Accountant, uh, qualifications you may teach them some subjects that you're going to be doing that after working hours and you're going to increase your income it will be an advantage because instead of having financial plans on a very restricted and restrained budget you're going to have a plan on a budget that is available for you to to imagine and organize and put a portfolio of investment that really really suits your financial status. So I want to plead with you that don't sit on your talents. Don't let your gifts go to waste. Please don't. Make sure you use your gifts, you use your talent to increase and push yourself further in that financial journey. You're going to to speed up the process. It will not take so long to accumulate because maybe 3M you are getting via your full-time job, like your salary. And then maybe from the cakes that you're baking around the whole month, you get like 1 million. So instead of doing your plans and budgeting on 3 million, you're going to be doing them on 4 million. And I'm telling you, a million can make a difference on top of what you earn normally. So please recognize your competitive advantage and then nurture your competitive advantage. Maybe you've realized you like baking cakes and you have that passion, but maybe you don't know the skills of decorating a cake. You may decide to take a class. Take a one-month class, a two-month class, or whether it's an online class or maybe an after-work class. Go and, and nurture, like build on your competitive advantage. Make sure you add skills on your competitive advantage because we want you to be so good on those competitive advantages. We want you to be so good in the side hustles and you don't know. One day, you never know, maybe your side hustle can become your main hustle. Okay? Because it's paying you more than you even thought it's going to pay you. And your journey to financial freedom is going to be very, very successful. It's going to be speed up. You won't use a lot of years. You are planning on retirement. You will achieve your targets within some very reasonable time. I am employed myself and I know sometimes employment can give you a lot of comfort. You might forget everything about your talent. You even won't forget that you had a talent once upon a time. So please don't get into that trap. Try your level best to know that God blessed you with something that if you use it, even in your extra hours, it's going to really, really help you in your financial goals and in your financial plans. I hope you've understood. And I hope by this time, your mind is playing back and trying to remember the gift that you had and the gift that you still have it's just because you've ignored it and you think the gift is missing. I hope you will remember, you will appreciate, and you'll start doing something about it. You'll even go to, to add some skills, some soft skills, in order to better your, your skills. So please, this step is what is concluding for us, this series. I hope you've gotten something out of this series. Either two or three things that will help you in this financial fit journey that you are about to start in 2023 or maybe you've started you're going to just add more ideas and skills and tips on how to make it even more real and more achievable to you thank you so much for listening and please don't forget to subscribe and leaving a comment for us in the comment section tell us how are you using your your competitive advantage and maybe there's a service you're doing and i could be a customer so don't fear telling me i'm an mc you don't know the next time i have an event i might contact you or maybe i bake cakes so the next time is a, a birthday for my one of my kids i may order a cake from you 
Thank you so much and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.